implementing CI-CD with GitHub pipelines, running build steps on pull requests and deployment steps on merge. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing how to run build steps on pull requests and deployment steps on merge using GitHub pipelines. Use cases. Our client company offers a SaaS, which is built on a multi-microservice software architecture. The development team includes hundreds of developers, project leads, and managers. Each software change requires various levels of approval before being deployed to the production environment. As a DevOps consulting company, we have adopted the GitFlow workflow to suit the client's needs. New features are developed on feature branches and pull requests are created for target branches such as dev, QA, and prod. Merging into these target branches triggers automatic deployment to the respective environments. To ensure project leads can review build results before approving merge requests, we have decided to separate the build and deployment steps. The build process runs for each pull request, while deployment occurs only when the code is merged into a target branch. The following video represents a demo on how we have implemented the pipeline. Should you require help in performing this step? Please feel to contact us in the email mentioned. Contact at easydeploy.io. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with ECS and ECR full access. Basic knowledge about GitHub. Implementing CI-CD with GitHub pipelines, running build steps on pull requests and deployment steps on merge. This is the GitHub repository where we have the source code of React.js. We totally have three branches. We need to create pull request for developer branch from feature and merge it. We are using GitHub Actions for pull request and merge, which is build and deploy. This is the Docker file which I created. We should upload task definition file, which is JSON file, which we created in ECS. Go to the AWS console and search for ECR. I already created in repository and pushed an image to it. Search for ECS. I already created in cluster and a service. Go inside the task definition. This is the task definition which I created. Click on JSON. This is the file which I pushed in the repository. Go back to GitHub. This is the workflow folder you should create in the same name shown in the video. These are YAML files which have the instructions of build and deploy. Go inside build file. In this file, I have given the echo command to show the test message. Go inside deploy file. In this file, I have mentioned the steps to deploy the ECS. I already mentioned it in environment secrets. Click on Settings. Now go inside Environments. Here I give in the environment secrets of the ECS and ECR. You should also mention the access and secret access key of the user which you created. You should also mention the region where you are working. You can click New Environment to create new one. Now we can change the source code and let's see if the pipeline is running. Go to the Feature branch. Go inside the Source folder. Click on App.js file. Here we can change the content.
click on Commit Changes. Now we can pull request from Feature to Developer Branch. Click on Compare and Pull Request. In Base, select Developer. In Compare, select Feature. Click on Create Pull Request. Click on Actions. You can see that when we created and pull request, pipeline automatically triggered and running. Build stage is running. Let's wait for the building stage to be completed. Build stage is completed. Go inside the pull request which we created. You can see that all checks are completed and this branch has no conflicts. Click on Merge Pull Request. Click on Confirm Merge. We have successfully merged. Click on Actions. You can see that when we clicked on Merge Pull Request, Pipeline is automatically triggered and running. Pipeline is in deploying stage. Let's wait for the ECS to be deployed. Our ECS is successfully deployed. First, we pull request from feature to developer. Then we merge the pull request. Go to the ECS console. Go inside the cluster which we created. Go inside the task and copy the public IP. Now search for it. You can see that the content is changed automatically when the pipeline got triggered. Check the description for the repository link. Conclusion. We have seen. How to run build steps on pull requests and deployment steps on merge using GitHub pipelines. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.